I want to first begin by acknowledging our mother elder. I want you to take a look at a beautiful black woman who is an elder. And we have to begin the proper way. I want to thank all of the beautiful organizers and you for coming here this morning for this terrible situation that we will, that we will turn around. I'll first start by the goals that are stated on the flyers that everyone should have before they leave. Make copies when you get home, text it, Skype it, do whatever you have to do with the available technology as far as the goals are concerned because emotions run very high when something of this magnitude happens and we must be very aware of those who don't want to see us meet our goals. Is that correct? Yes. So the goals stated, push for measurable accountability for the return and reintegration of the kidnapped girls. Address the current conditions to which we are bringing the girls back to and ignite a national conversation about the future of girls in Nigeria. End the sexual exploitation of Nigerian girls, girls all over, including underage marriage and other gender inequalities. I stand as a concerned father. I have daughters. I've cared for daughters of other men and women. Most recently, a young girl by the name of Miracle came into my home with some problems and my wife and I and my family cared for her. Let me say this, I consider myself a theater arts practitioner. I know the difference between entertainment and the value of cultural programming. What we have to do in situations like this is to urge everybody to help build what I call a culture of concern. Yes. We live in a world where violence is constantly pushed, constantly pushed on our children. At the age of one and two, we go and sit and watch on screens women violated for entertainment purposes. This is the truth of the field that I work in, but I do not defend it. There's a balance that must be struck. There will be those who will continue to promote and produce violent storylines that one and two and three and four year old children sit and drink with their eyes and take it in. And then by the time they grow up to be a men in some cases commit violent acts like this. Wow. Before I leave, I want to say and reference two cultural workers. One is a man that I've listened to and he's a genius in our midst and they have labeled this man blind and he sees more than most of us. His name is Stevie Wonder. I would urge all of you to go online and punch up a film called The Secret Life of Plants because we're dealing with women, we're dealing with people who nurture culture. Young girls who grow up to be women who nurture men and women that come out of the womb. Google the secret life of plants and find a clip called Black Orchid. As I reference the Black Orchid, I'll also reference Sister Nina Simone. Sister Nina Simone who showed her Black Orchid to a group of people and said that she received this Black Orchid because of a song she wrote about young gifted and black girls like those in Nigeria who were in school. Young gifted girls who are studying in school to make this planet a better place and have to endure something like this. The black orchid, find one, find a black flower, lift it up, share it. When you go find this clip, what you will see in the black orchid clip is not someone talking, but a beautiful African sister in a certain condition and she dances her way into another condition. I'll leave it at that. In referencing the other sister, right now on Broadway, there is a play out. The name of the play, you know it. But I'm gonna tell you about another play that the sister who brought this play that is currently on Broadway to us. Her name is Sister Lorraine Hansberry. This sister did not play. She was 20 something years old. 
and not only wrote the play that's currently on Broadway, she wrote a play about colonialism and the rape of Africa. That's what we're dealing with here today. And if I, as a person who works in what I call theater arts practitioners, making a balance to what others call the entertainment industry, where we entertain, our, we entertain ourselves to the point where we don't even care about murder. We don't care about violence. We don't care about our children. That culture has got to change and women have always been on the forefront. The last sister, and I'll leave with this that I will reference, Sister Henrietta Vinton Davis, an artist and activist. I'll leave her name to you. Do the research. I thank you for your time and listening. Let's keep the movement and bring back our girls.